Hi friends, Sauravir, welcome back to my channel. Today we are going to see what is exception in PLSQL and how we can handle the exceptions. So let's start the tutorial. Okay, so what is an exception? Uh, an abnormal condition that interrupts the normal flow of program's instruction at runtime is an exception. In simple words, we can say that an exception is a runtime error. What, whenever we run a program, if we are getting any runtime error, we can say that it's an exception. Okay such as if you are getting you know too many rows or no data found or exact fetch returns more than requested number of rows all these things can be handled in PLSQL, plsql exception block these all things are actually uh, you know exception uh, these all things are runtime error okay and all these things can be handled in exception block using this exception handling thing okay so what uh, there are basically two type of exceptions system defined exception or we can say predefined exception and the second one is user defined exception okay what is system defined exception system defined exceptions are defined uh, are defined and maintained implicitly by oracle server okay it is like something which is getting handled by oracle itself we are not doing anything for that oracle itself are doing everything for to handle the exception and uh, to you know to get over this uh, these kind of uh, you know exceptions whenever whenever an exception occurs inside the program oracle server matches the matches and identifies the appropriate exceptions from the available set of exceptions from oracle standard package okay now what are these predefined exceptions are these uh, predefined exceptions have names such as zero divide or uh, zero divide or too many rows etc so these are like uh, predefined exceptions okay now what is user defined exceptions these are the you know uh, whenever an exception ha happen occur we have flexibility to deal with the exception we can you know uh, we can create our own exception handler to handle the exception okay how we can do that like all other programming languages oracle also allows us to declare and implement our own exception okay unlike system defined exception these exceptions are raised explicitly in the oracle you know plsql code so we can access explicitly handle the exceptions and we can call the you know exception block and handle these exceptions actually how to declare user defined exception there are basically three ways to you know uh, declare user defined exception okay yeah so the first way is you know using variable of exception type we will declare a variable which is of exception type and we can use that variable to handle our exception here i have written the same thing declare a user defined exception by declaring a variable of exception data type in the code and raise it explicitly in the program using raise statement okay so this is first way to declare an exception actually okay now second way is using pragma exception underscore init function using this function also we can handle the exception using pragma underscore accept pragma exception underscore unit function we can map a non predefined error number with the variable of exception data type, data type actually okay all these things I'll, I'll explain you in my next tutorial with example don't worry about that just you know just get familiar with the with these definition i'll show you all these exceptions with you know ac uh, with example and at that time you will get to know in better way how you know we can declare our own exception and how we can handle the exception okay okay having said that now the the third one is using raise application error method using this method also we can you know handle the exception using this method we can declare a user defined exception with our own customized error error number and message so using this way we are we can write our own you know message we can give our own message to the user if any except runtime error is happening so we can give our own message so that user can understand okay uh, you know uh, some meaningful message we can give to the to the end user okay so this is what exception is okay don't if you're not understanding with with these definitions don't worry i'll explain you everything with example in my next tutorial Till then, take care, bye bye, and don't forget to subscribe my channel. And please like and share the video if you like it. And yeah, that's it for today. Thanks for watching the tutorial. Thank you very much.